Welcome back, everybody. Everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Filling out my scorecard. Oh, yeah. We're going to play Canaloa Beach board. in uh, Long Tees Teeny Cups because I've not set a score on this. Um, but I have played this as an 18 hole. It's part of the qualifier for the, um, the last international tournament. So we're going to see what we can do today. Uh, first one's a bit uphill now. I can probably make that bit of fairway there. I'm not going to try and drive the green. But I reckon we can get that up there. Excellent. Genzo likes it. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, it's going to go in the bunker. Yeah. Actually, could have made the green. Could have made the green. Okay, so we've got 15 yarder. Again, it's teeny cup, so it's really difficult to kind of predict. Oh, missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it. Okay. I just need a close putt. Okay. Four and off foot. Should be all right. Now. Should be all right. Pretty straight. We'll take the birdie. Bag your bird. There we go. There we go. We've got ourselves a birdie to start. Par five next. Hole eleven. Par five. So your issue here is is thinking about where you're going to land the tee shot. Luckily, we're on the long tee, so we're not going to be up in that little knuckle there. We just need to think about the wind a little bit. Get ourselves a good clean contact and leave ourselves a good second shot. Good shot. Hopefully miss that bunker. Yeah, there we go. Just get up into that spot there. Don't roll right. Don't roll right. Don't roll right. Don't roll right. Just in the semi. Ah. Uh, okay. So we're going to lose a bit of power. We're going to kick right a bit, but the wind's going to bring it back. Okay. So let's give it the beans. Try and stop it. Ah, I've got to hit my impacts. Got to hit my impacts. It's gone left. Okay, so 12 yards. We've got a chip anyway. We've got a chip. I wanted a putt, really. Okay. Go on. In the hole. How's that? Nice. Just an unconventional chip in Eagle. One, two, three, four, three. Four spins, I have four spins, 60 points. Yeah, obviously, I was playing for the extra points there. So, 12 yard chipping. Gets us to three under. Right, gotta start hitting the impacts. It's a par three. Okay, not too long of a par three. Oh, that pin's interesting. See how close that is into the front. So, you're probably gonna pitch just on that little bit of a fairway in front of it. I'm into the headwind. Uh, okay, so 7 iron it is. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Got the ultra backspin. So if I can what get it on, it? it'll stop. So it's going to pitch just past. Yeah, I don't understand. Come back, come back, boy. Uh, just over pitched it. Didn't read the wind properly. Okay, oh, wow. And that's going to roll a mile. See what we can do. Just get it close. Leave ourselves an uphill putt if we can. Ah, oh, nice the legs at all. Pressure shot. Okay, this is a tricky birdie putt. Do it. Oh, maybe there. Okay. I think that's going to break too much. Or just, nice just, putt. just for the putt. Pretty good. Okay. So we're three under after three. We can't complain about that too much. Hole thirteen. It's a par four. If you watch my um. International tournament qualifier, you'll know when you've got the short clubs. I kind of like this little route down here onto this island, but we've got the legs for this. There's a little bit of headwind. Let's um, let's give it the beans and see what we can do. Go! Nice shot. I think we got it. How far up is it going to land? Yeah, it just kills it and it rolls on. I mean, it's stopping it on there. It's just ridiculously hard. But we're on. It's a 20 foot for Eagle. It's going to break left and right. I don't even know what to do here. So it's going to break a bit left and come back. So maybe left edge. Hit it gentle and let it roll. Go on. Go on. Get in. There you go. It's a five under. I'm happy with that. 
Hole 14. Ah. It's a par four. The Stone Arch. Again, if you've watched me play this before. So, one option here is we go for the skip. Which is what we're going to do. We're going to go for the skip. We've got the club. Ah, oh, missed, missed it. 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 It's wet. It's not going to make it. Oh, it is. Well, that's unjustifiably not bad. Left us a shot. Okay. So where are we? Okay. We're in the rough, so stopping it's going to be tough. Especially if you miss your impact. Yeah. Oh, that's reasonable. So, six foot for a birdie. It's going to break a bit. Maybe there. Maybe there. Makes a birdie. Well, for the complete hash I made of the tee shot and the second shot, to come up with a birdie is really good. Okay, 15, par 3. It's a par three. Got to start hitting some impacts. I had too much coffee. That's what I'm blaming. Okay, so it's downhill. Bit of a tailwind. Six iron, so it's gonna, it's gonna skip a bit. Just gonna stop it. Got the ultra backspin. Although on a six Good iron. Chance. Although I've maxed the backspin on that club. It should grip. Ah, oh, it's all right. It was a bit over. Fifteen foot putt, though. Go on, get that birdie. Whoa, okay. It's I can up. hit it firm at least. Breaks left. Maybe there. Maybe there. Hopefully, I've given it enough legs. Go on. Yes. And this is another reason I like teeny cups: is that it, it really tests your putting skill. It makes you read the green. There's no margin. You know, pace and line. In fact, I'm, if you're practicing, I recommend TV Cups. It's just the best way to learn how to putt. So again, another little cheeky choice is just to go straight out this that way. Um, we're a bit uphill. Will I get there? Yeah, I'll probably hit that little bit of car park with a bit of luck. So let's go for it. Good shot. Got a chance. Got a chance. Depends where it lands. Or oh, hit the rough and died a bit. Might just keep going. Now I think you get a lift off that. You get a free drop. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So you get a no penalty drop. Which, against the rules of golf, takes you closer. You should... But anyway, yeah. Uh, okay. So it's going to roll left when it lands. Let's have a go at this. See what we can do. No, okay. the line's not right. It's just I needed more left. Needed Stop. more. Needed to be further to its sorry nice. to its right. With a now. So five foot back. Don't rush it. Left edge. Firm. Give me the birdie. There we go. Nice birdie. Takes us to eight. Okay, seventeen. Hole seventeen. It's a par. The five. condorable par five. Not with these clubs, sadly. Um, the the shot you play is basically down here. I just don't have the length for it. What I do have the length for is to try something like this with a little bit of tail. See if we can get it up there. See what we can do. Got it. Got the ultra spin. Nice shot. Where is it going to land? That's all right. That's all right. Just going to run out onto the rough, which is a shame. 166 to go. It's going to be a seven or eight iron. Maybe the eight, maybe the six, sorry. Nah, let's play the seven, because if it ends up short, I'm doing it too fast. You've got a shot in at least. Clears the bridge. Where's that gonna go? Yeah, it's just gonna pitch past. Length wasn't the problem, but we're on the fairway. Nice. Powered up seven iron a bit. Okay. Again, I'm gonna need to hit the pin here. For sure. Yeah. Oh. It. Just shy. Could this be a birdie? Yeah, it'll be a birdie, but there was an eagle to be taken there. Makes a birdie. Done. Done. 
That gets us to nine with a par four to finish. Last oh, disappointing, one. I'm honest. Uh, and this is the hit it down the throat strategy hole. So you can see my best drive there. What you basically do is you whack it down there and try and stop it. Uh, sometimes the sand stops it. Sometimes you hit it properly. And that's not going to stop. All day. Usually it goes out the back. Yeah, it's just going to go out the back. Oh, if you could get it to stop on the green, though, that would be your best drive. It's a seven-yard chip back. Needs to hit. Needs to hit. Get in. Yeah! Like it. So that's a great finish. Again, it's kind of a risky strategy, but gives you the chance at the eagle. Which is always worth taking. So we end up on 11 under. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with 11 under. I mean, we definitely missed a few shots. So there's more to take there. It's actually not that hard. That's nine holes of golf go. So stats-wise, this should be all right. Yeah, I missed a few fairways for sure. But I was playing out conventionally, Your Honor. Um, so if you like that, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a little bit more of Mini's Golf. Well